Welcome to the Form 7 jQuery plugin. Uh, Form 7 is basically a lightweight InfoPath alternative uh, for SharePoint 2007, 2010, 2013, uh, and Office 365. And uh, what this, what Form 7 does is it allows you to create forms for your SharePoint lists using any basic HTML editor you want to use. Um, it allows you to create highly stylized forms. It allows you to do uh, business logic behind your forms by writing simple JavaScript or just using CSS to show and hide fields, to, to make fields conditionally required. Um, and there's a lot of helper functions within the Form 7 library itself to help you make that work. Uh, what I want to show you guys is just a couple of sample forms so you can get more of a, an idea and understanding of, of how it works. Uh, what you see in front of you is a really plain, ugly, basic form. I am not a designer, obviously. Um, and you can see that it's got your standard uh, fields from your contact form. And if you try to submit this form, it tells you that there's errors in the form because Form 7 has this required field capability. You can specify fields being required. And it also tells you above each field which field is required. Uh, it also has validation. So if you put in a bad email address and try to submit the form, it tells you again to submit your error, fix your errors. And if you look at the email address, it now says enter a valid email address. Um, and this this field uh, verification and validation, you can actually write your own functions for that. Um, so if you had a, a special form field for your organization where maybe you have an employee ID and it has to be seven digits long, um, you could create your own validation routine on that as well. Uh, other things that the Form 7 does is it has some helper functions to do cascading dropdowns. So you see here in the state field, we have Alabama and Arkansas. If we click on Alabama, it then loads the cities for that we have in Alabama. So you can select those. If you change it to Arkansas, it will show you cities for Arkansas that you can choose from. Uh, and this is kind of the helper function that it gives you to do. And what you can do is then just go ahead and fill out the field form. You know, let's just fill out the required fields to make it easy for you. Uh, don't want to test that test. We'll just put a test email address in there. Birthday. It uses jQuery UI's calendar to show uh, dates. You don't have to use it, but I have made it to work and use that for you fairly easily. And you can even make radio buttons required as well. So when I save this form, it's going to tell me that the save was successful and what my new ID was. This, this, you're not always going to see this message. This is your own custom way. This is my own custom message to show whenever I save the form. So you don't have to see that if you don't want to. So what it does is it's reloading the page for us. And if we look at the list items in our list, you can see here's the one we just entered. And it's got all the data for that form stored in one field comes called Form 7 Data. And what it also did is it promoted the email address field to the title field within the SharePoint list. So what Form 7 does is it gives you the ability, much like InfoPath, to store a lot of form data in one object. And that object is no longer an InfoPath form. That object is now a field in the SharePoint list. It also gives you the ability to promote fields within that form to SharePoint list fields like we did here with the email address. And you can do that with multiple forms. And in the future tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do those things like promoting fields. So yeah, so this is a pretty ugly field form, but you, you can get much more fancy with the forms too. So here's a form that I had a designer friend of mine do, uh, Heather Waterman, who's a much better designer than I shall ever be. And she's used some really cool stuff to make this form look much better. I mean, you have to admit, that looks a lot better than the form we were just looking at. And again, if it still has the same functionality. If there's errors, it says, hey, you need to fix your errors. And it tells you this is a required field. So it doesn't really matter uh, what the, how you make the form, it, it, this functionality worked work behind it. We still have the state and city drop down. Right, so this is the same script with just two different HTML forms. In fact, if you look at the look at the list down here, you can see it's the exact same list that we had. So it's the exact same list, exact same script, just two different forms. So if we want to load that form that we saved in uh, that we just created, 
which had an ID of 7, we can come up here and say, hey, I want to see the form with the ID of 17. And here is that form we just created that only had Mark Rackley in the test at test.com. So in a nutshell, that's what Form 7 is. Um, but I hope to, in future videos, kind of show you the power of what you can do with Form 7. We have a client who's actually using this, and they, they really, really like it. And we have one SharePoint list with nine different forms in that SharePoint list. And what they do is they promote all of the fields they care about to see in their list views into the SharePoint list and then those some other 50 fields that are different for each form that they really don't need to see in the list view they just stay in that that one uh, form 7 data list field so it gives them the, the functionality they need and uh, it's a working out really great form thanks for checking it out uh, feel free to play around leave comments if you're not interested that's fine if you are interested please let me know your interest uh, so to motivate me to keep creating this sort of stuff Thanks, guys.